Ladies and gentlemen, this is case study number four, and the topic is packagings for eggs made from uh, BDPs. Uh, I'll be rather short, rather short because my time is over. Uh, looking in the in the program, and the second point is that uh, the lawyers which are helping us with uh, technology transfer uh, instructed me not to tell anything. That means like this. Uh, Okay, uh, the basic for our beginning was in the 2008 when uh, Slovak Technical University and Slovak Academy of Sciences established the joint research unit on biodegradable plastics. It was quite interesting, it's a well-equipped uh, equ well uh, unit. Uh, research aimed to biodegradable plastics. Uh, we have also pilot unit equipped with processing uh, processing machines, and of course, because of uh, Slovak Technical University, number of undergraduate students and PhD students working on the projects this is really quite uh, quite uh, good cooperation, and uh, I think also good results. Uh, concerning the cooperation, uh, we are aimed to we are uh, the target is development of various materials based on polyhydroxybutyrate, especially polylactic acid and other biodegradable plastics. Our aim is to get higher impact resistance, not brittle material. This is uh, the main problem with most of uh, most of uh, biodegradable plastics. This uh, impact resistance is characterized by. Uh, the uh, I would say the crucial parameter is impact uh, is deformation at break. Of course, impact resistance is the direct uh, direct uh, parameter corresponding to the to the uh, brittleness. But high deformation means also very high uh, very high toughness. Uh, price is, uh, should be close to commodity plastics. Is of course uh, in my discussion I said that uh, uh, from the overall point of view. The price is not important because uh, you cannot beat oil. But for particular each particular case at the moment, if you want to apply, you have to consider the price. Important is processing on standard plastic, uh, plastic production lines. Of course, this is a must because uh, nobody will invest in machines and uh, just because you want him to, to process, uh, process biodegradable plastics. Uh, all this stuff was done before uh, before plastic, uh, plastic project started, uh, this packaging for X uh, was uh, initiated by partner product number seven, is Herco Holding, and Herco Holding is agricultural company producing uh, different agricultural products uh, besides other also production of eggs. They are processing eggs. They uh, they had they have 25% uh, of the market in Slovakia. They are exporting even to Poland. Also, the Poland is uh, Poland is really from agricultural production is the uh, something like a very very important country and very uh, a lot of production is there. They, are, they have some farms in uh, Germany and in Ukraine. They're really quite a well well uh, well working company. They have also access bioproducts, these bio eggs and. They uh, simply uh, developed the idea that it was interesting that from marketing point of view to sell the eggs, bio eggs in bio packagings, something like this. This was rational, or this was something like idea of this, uh, these these uh, guys. Uh, that why they wanted to enter the Herco, they were really uh, enter the uh, plastic project, and why they wanted to have these uh, eggs. Well. Uh, within this research, uh, research uh, joint research unit, we developed material based on blend of polylactic acid and po polyhydroxybutyrate with plasticizer, with compatibilizer, and uh, we developed also a way of processing to decrease very much the degradation during processing. We really, uh, we really succeeded. We got material which is elongation bed over 400%. Over 400% is really, really very good uh, result. We have no, almost no physical aging. You know that the polyhydroxybutyrate and polylactic acid they uh, change the properties uh, with uh, the properties level of levels of after the, perhaps three months of storing. But this material uh, is 
very little, very little decrease in the, in the elongation break, even after a half a year. Important is that we have versatile properties. We have with small changes in composition, we can, uh, we can uh, get brittle material with high, very high modulus up to very ductile material with, very, with low modulus and a very flexible material. Uh, and uh, really, uh, depending also, we have also we can also influence the, the processing uh, processing parameters. Now uh, we we also uh, investigated a number of technologies, film extrusion successful on pilot scale, in the normal normal production, injection molding the same, pilot scale no problem with injection molding. Of course we had some problems because we have to adjust the material for particular uh, particular production line. But we, because the material is very versatile, we were able to do that. Film blowing also successful on pilot, uh, pilot scale. We have not, not, no, not a problem. Vacuum thermoforming, this is what, uh, what is used for production of packaging for eggs. We test it on laboratory scale. And this is some photos for this testing. This is Professor Alexi, he's the main technologist, uh, I would say the main person of, of this research, of this uh, development. This is a foil, the extruded foil, putting in a laboratory, laboratory equipment. This is a mold, and this is kind of uh, how, how it goes on. And now, this is a product. These are this packaging, these are this packaging for eggs. Uh, these are guys, uh, again, Professor Alexi. This is president of Herco, uh, watching this or invest, uh, inspecting these uh, products. Of course, in this case, uh, we, have, uh, we have some problem because uh, this uh, equipment we used, there's only one, uh, the only uh, one, uh, uh, one way how to make the vacuum. But for the complicated balls like this, it's really not so easy. Uh, you have uh, uh, part of the foil must be, uh, must be uh, deformed uh, much more than the other parts. And from this point of view, you have to add, uh, you have to have at least two or even three different, different levels of vacuum. And this is what we, uh, in, uh, in uh, this laboratory equipment, we didn't have. Uh, and therefore, this, uh, this, uh, mold is, this uh, product is not uh, good for practical, practical using because some, uh, some parts of this, uh, of this material is, is uh, very thin. But normally, if you use, if you use uh, uh, commercial or, or suitable equipment, you, can, you should get, uh, you should get a good, a good product because the material has processing characteristics exactly as a polystyrene, which is used uh, now. Well, uh, regarding the future or uh, the status quo, we have Slovak patent applied for. We have uh, in the last stage of PCT uh, stage, uh, uh, it's almost finished, and out of four claims of the patent, the three were approved. This is uh, really very good. and. We are now entering national phases in about 30 countries. We are going to, pat to patent. Uh, we intend to produce the pellets, the, uh, the pellets in Slovakia, and sell it to anybody. Of course, if you want to, to sell to abroad, we have to have uh, the material to be patented. Uh, last but not least, there is uh, just a kind of game, but uh, it is something like uh, quite uh, useful. Uh, we send this, uh, this our patent uh, to International Invention Show to Taipei, Taiwan. Uh, and this is, uh, this is a poster we, we presented there. Uh, this is also very important because uh, when I <laughs> went through my presentation yesterday, I found there is no, uh, no plastic uh, logo, no uh, ERDF logo, nothing. Unfortunately, at this poster there is everything. That means I can say, okay, I have also uh, all the necessary logos for presentation I have here. And we got gold medal there. Then we you see this for Polymer Institute, gold medal uh, at this plastic show. This is, of course, not important from point from technical point of view, but it is important because media were very much interested. We had immediately some, uh, some uh, interviews in the radio. Uh, in, uh, there was... Uh, there was uh, the broadcast in the TV, and of course, because of this, number of companies approached us, and they they are interested to uh, to uh, 
purpose to, to uh, buy the products and, and to commercialize it. Uh, yeah, I think that's all. Thank you very much for your attention.